Indiana University East Department of Science as the strength of binary acids. So let's think about what happens when an acid dissociates. So we can look at how the structure of a binary acid, which would be something where you have H bonded to, directly to X, where X is the whatever other element you have dissociates. So an acid dissociation, you're giving off an H plus, leaving an H minus behind. There's two factors that you've got to think about. First, you've got to break the HX bond. So the strength of the HX bond will play a role in determining how strong an acid is. The easier it is to break this bond, the stronger the acid. The other factor is this. You've got, you've got to leave behind an X minus here. This X minus, okay, is going to be holding this negative charge. So, how well does this conjugate base hold on to whatever excess negative charge you've got? And so, if the acids, there are two things we'll look at. One is the strength of the HX bond, as we discussed. The stronger it is, the more stronger the HX bond, the weaker it is because it's going to take more energy to break the, the H and the X apart. The other thing to think about is the bond polarity. Why? Well, if you look at the HX bond, the more, if it's non-polar, then H has still got an appreciable amount of electrical density. However, if the bond becomes more and more polar and X is more electronegative, okay, then the electron density is going to be drawn from the hydrogen to whatever other element there is. And in this case, in this case, you're essentially creating a case where you're really part of the partially partial positive charge off here and makes it easier for this H plus to break off. And also, if it's more electronegative, it is easier for the X to hold on to all this electron or this negative charge because well, it's a more electronegative, so it's going to take more of this electron density naturally anyway. So let's look at how, if I vary the element across the periodic table, what happens? Down the group, so down the halogens, F, Cl, Br, R. We know that hydrophoric acid is our weak acid, while the rest are strong acids. Of these, overall, the acid strength increases as you go down the group. Why is this? This has nothing to do with electronegativity, because if you think about it, who needs the most electronegative? Rather, if we look at the bond strength, okay, as you go down the group, look at the bond enthalpy, okay? The bond enthalpy of the HF bond is the strongest, and HR is the weakest. So as you go down the group, the bond strength decreases, and the acid strength increases. And therefore, we see that as you go down the group, the bond strength, because the atoms are getting further and further apart, because the radius of the halogen increases. And therefore, as this bond strength decreases, the acid strength increases. So now, we can look at what happens when you go across a period from left to right. Here, if you look at the acid strength, it goes up. H4 practices an act as an acid, and then you have H3, which is mostly basic, but can act as an acid. H2O is amphoteric, HF is a weak acid. As you can see here, and these um, these maps basically show the electron potential. The, the, electrostatic potential. So as you can see here, as you go across, more and more of this, there's more and more of the electron poor region. The red here indicates that there's more of the electron density. The blue here means it's losing electron density. So as the electron negativity increases, the more of the electron density is sitting on this other atom anyway, so fluorine here, oxygen here, 
whereas in common it is completely non-polar. So if more of the electron density is sitting on the is away from the hydrogen and sitting on the fluorine, the acid strength increases. To summarize, we can use the periodic table to look at the acid strength of binary acids by looking at where the second element is on the periodic table. For the second element, as you go from left to right across the periodic table and going from top to bottom on the periodic table, the acid strength increases. You need to know both the trends across the periodic table as well as the reasons behind these trends.